Good morning. My name is Justine Goff. I am the Assistant Commissioner for Cyber, Cyber Command for the Australian Federal Police. Today I want to provide updates on the policing response to the Optus data breach. I know this is a very stressful time for many Australians and families and I will provide as many answers as I can to help alleviate concerns. However, I need to be clear, this is an ongoing investigation and to protect where we are operationally, there will be some questions I will be unable to answer. Our investigation into who is responsible for the breach is continuing and we expect it to be long and complex. Operation Hurricane is an AFP priority and you can be assured that our very clever and dedicated cyber investigators are focused on delivering justice for those whose personal information has been compromised. Today I am announcing a further measure to help protect those individuals who are most at risk from cyber criminals. The AFP and State and Territory Police have set up Operation Guardian to supercharge the protection of more than 10,000 customers whose identification credentials have been unlaw unlawfully released online after the Optus data breach. Customers affected by the breach will receive multi-jurisdictional and multi-layered protection from identity crime and financial fraud. The 10,000 individuals who potentially had 100 points of identification released online will be prioritised. Under the AFP-led Joint Policing Cybercrime Coordination Centre, which is a joint partnership between law enforcement, the private sector and industry to combat the growing threat of cybercrime, Operation Guardian will focus on key measures to help shield affected customers, including identifying the 10,000 individuals across Australia now at risk of identity fraud and working with industry to enable further protection for those members of the public. Monitoring online forums, the internet and the dark web for other criminals trying to exploit the personal information released online. Engaging with the financial sector, industry, Engaging with the financial service industry to detect criminal activity associated with the data breach. Analyzing trends from Report Cyber to determine whether there are links between individuals who have been exploited and identifying and disrupting cyber criminals. The JPC3 will use collective legislative powers, experience, investigative and intelligence capabilities of all Australian policing jurisdictions. It will also complement other agencies, including the Australian Cyber Security Centre. Optus is fully cooperating with the investigation and a number of other agencies are working with us to help protect Australians. We will publish a media release today that includes practical tips from Australian banking from the Australian Banking Association, the Customer-Owned Banking Association and ID Care. Finally, can I reiterate, the AFP and law enforcement across Australia are taking this crime very seriously. Cybercrime is the break and enter of the 21st century and we encourage all Australians to be extra vigilant about their online security at this time. I'm happy to take questions. Assistant Commissioner, is the AFP aware of any fraud that has already occurred as a result of the breach? So that is the subject to our ongoing investigation and that is why we have put Operation Guardian together, uh, which is a collaboration between State and Territory Police and a number of industry partners to help and shield uh, and protect Australians against the ongoing risk of the cyber crimes that may emanate as a result of the Optus data breach. Who's responsible for the hacks? Are you any closer to identifying them? 
This is going to be a long and complex investigation and uh, it involves uh, large data sources, uh, multiple inquiries. We are aware that the offender has used obfuscation techniques to hide their identity, uh, their activities and their locations, but we are pursuing a range of uh, lines of, of inquiry and, uh, and those will continue for some time. Is the ALP concentrating on a particular theory, for example, a kid in the garage? We are continuing to uh, pursue every line of inquiry available to us. Uh, it's incredibly complex. Cybercrime is obviously global, um, it's borderless, uh, it's online, and we continue to analyse complex data sources using our specialist capabilities, um, and also uh, engaging with uh, both domestic and international partners to determine what has taken place. Assistant Commissioner, the 10,000 people today, they are the ones who are in that data dump on Monday or Tuesday, I, I, I assume. What assurances, though, or what confidence do you have that the other millions of Australians who have details, including 2.8 million with driver's licence and passport numbers, that their data won't pop up on the, on the internet? So Operation Guardian uh, is focused initially on the 10,000 uh, that their data was released earlier this week. Operation Guardian will extend to uh, others who may be impacted by this Optus data breach. Um, initially, we are focusing on the 10,000 uh, released records. How long Do you think that'll be bigger, get bigger though? That number will get bigger? Is that, is that, is that a fear? Well, we uh, will focus, uh, Optus has advised us that 9.8 million uh, customer records have been uh, affected and impacted by this data breach. Initially the focus will be on 10,000 and then we'll extend it out using the full range of law enforcement and agency, uh, law enforcement agencies and industries um, to help uh, protect Australians. How long will this operation have to run? Will it be a sort of lifetime operation and the taxpayer will be putting the bill should Optus also uh, this is a complex investigation that will take some time. Uh, there are complex data sets. Uh, it will involve um, a cooperation with law enforcement from across the globe, potentially, um, given that we are talking about a type of crime that is borderless. Um, that is why we are uh, working with international partners, including the FBI. But we're also working with our cyber liaison officers. Um, who are located uh, across the world. Uh, this is an incredibly complex investigation and uh, we are being supported by a range of different agencies, um, including Optus, to pursue this investigation. Assistant on the protection. Assistant Commissioner, on, on the investigations, have you narrowed it down to a certain number of suspects or is there likely to be a state actor involved? What, what, sort, of, what sort of suspects are you looking it's very early in the investigation. Um, it is a complex investigation and we are pursuing uh, multiple lines of inquiry with regard to the investigation. Um, I think it's important to uh, state that uh, the investigation, uh, it is incredibly complex. Um, it is continuing and those multiple avenues are being pursued. Um, but important to provide some reassurance for uh, members of the community that policing agencies around Australia are doing whatever they can uh, to protect Australians and there are some practical measures that Australians can adopt um, to better look out for uh, suspicious activity um, and important to outline those practical tips. Uh, so Australians should look out for suspicious and unexpected activity across online accounts including telco, bank and utility accounts um, and make sure that they report suspicious activity to their bank accounts immediately um, or to their financial institutions. Do not click or click on any links um, in any emails uh, or SMSs claiming to be from Optus and if someone calls claiming to be from Optus, police, bank or another organisation and offers to help with a data breach, consider hanging up and contacting the organisation on its official contact details um, because the caller could be a scammer using personal information. Never click on links that look suspicious and never provide passwords, banks, one-time pins or personal or financial information. And if people are posing as credible organisations and request access to computers, always say no. Was this an API breach? 
so we are continuing to investigate uh, the, um, the cause of the, uh, the data breach and uh, I, I will not go into those details at this time. Are you satisfied with the cooperation from Optus? I mean, we only learned this week that the public only learned that Medicare numbers were included as part of that breach. Was that information provided to the AFP last week? Optus continues to provide support and uh, cooperation to the investigation and that helps us to better protect Australians impacted by this breach. State, state, state government told me yesterday that they haven't received information from Optus about how many driver's licences have, uh, have been stolen. Have they told the AFP anything about the number of driver's license details, the number of passports or anything like that? We hear the 9.8 million, the smaller subset 2.8 million, but I mean, do we have any idea yet of just how many people are being have, have potentially most seriously affected beyond this 10,000? There are a whole, uh, a range of whole of government um, uh, approaches in terms of working with Optus. Um, to identify the types of identification that have been subject to this breach um, and uh, the, the whole of government um, arrangements will result in um, uh, arrangements to be put into effect with uh, particular motor registries. Um, in some cases, certainly the state police under Operation Guardian are working with motor registries um, to ensure that if new driver's licences need to be reissued, that that is taking place. So as it stands today, no one in the country can tell us how many people need a new driver's licence or, so or a new passport. Is, is, is that, is, I'm not blaming you or anything like that, because this is obviously your not just as they're the ones who've got the data and the hacker, obviously. But um, have, have they, you, no one knows. So this is a very, very uh, large amount of data that we are talking about, which continues to be analysed, and that is, of course, subject to our ongoing so investigation. The, I'm sorry to interrupt you. So the AFP does not know how many people, how many drivers' licences have been compromised, how many passport numbers have been compromised, how many Medicare cards have been compromised. Is that correct? So we're still going through a large data set. That's, that's part of our ongoing uh, inquiries um, and uh, our ongoing uh, um, cooperation um, that Optus is providing to the AFP. Does it, appear that, does it appear that Optus had the information securely stored? And if the 10,000 were released on Monday, why are you only looking to protect these people now? Look, I'm not going to go into uh, specific details with regard to um, the, the data breach itself. That is subject to our ongoing investigation. What I can say is with regard to the 10,000, we are concerned that those 10,000 people may have had their 100 point identification um, compromised and they are the first area of focus for our Operation Guardian approach under the Joint Policing Cybercrime Coordination Centre. So We are uh, under the uh, program of Operation Guardian, uh, have the involvement of all state and territory police um, and industry partners, including the, uh, the banking industry. Um, and uh, we are um, going to prioritise our area of focus for those 10,000. Uh, we do urge people who are impacted and uh, where people are concerned that a cybercrime um, has been uh, that they are, have been subject to cybercrime to report to uh, report cyber at cyber.gov.au. Um, so, uh, if members of the public have been impacted um, and believe that they are subject to a cybercrime, to report at cyber.gov.au. Do you, do you expect them people to be informed within days or, or weeks if they're amongst those people? Uh, we hope that uh, through all of the agencies that are involved in the investigation, um, we will be able to resolve and provide some protection for those Australians who are impacted uh, using the full range of our law enforcement resources as well as industry resources. But we do urge Australians who believe that they are subject to cybercrime to, uh, to report to report.cyber. Would you characterise this as a, as a sophisticated attack or a basic attack as the Home Affairs Minister is? 
where I'm not going to go into details as to the attack because of course it is subject to our ongoing investigation. Um, but I would say that uh, whoever is behind this attack, the uh, cyber criminal behind this attack, has used obfuscation techniques um, to conceal their identity, their location and their activity. But that is part of the ongoing investigation. What role the FBI and other intelligence agencies play in all of this? And do you have enough power in this operation to we have resources dedicated to this investigation from across Australia and also using our international network, which is quite extensive. Um, also our six dedicated cyber officers who are posted around the globe. Um, in an investigation of any type, um, particularly when you're talking about a transnational investigation, uh, we do rely upon the assistance of our global partners, including the FBI, and they are involved in this investigation as well. Uh, so we are um, not going to, I'm not going to go into uh, that uh, because that is subject to our ongoing investigation, um, but uh, suffice is to say that we are pursuing every line of inquiry and um, you know, we will pursue who is responsible for this breach. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you.